Welcome to another edition of the SSC TV3 News. We are more than news. We also televise programs, events, <coughs> and archives that are the lifeblood of our community. Today is Friday, February the 1st, 2019. And I'm Jim Lakey, your host, and these are the features that will be on our show today. First, a fair tradition. And second, gone. Normally, we televise this program live at 11 o'clock on Tuesdays and Fridays and upload it to YouTube right after the show. However, for the next few weeks, there will be a telecasting the live Friday show at noontime as we synchronize our schedule with the class schedule of our two video journalist students. Also, since we've been missing events that have been in conflict with our regular news time, and since we only have one field reporter, we will be making a change. The news time will now be moved from time to time so that we can get to events that are in conflict. If you cannot watch us live, you can still watch the show at your convenience at ssctv3.org. Please share our features on your social media. This will help us grow and enable us to serve you better. We also welcome press releases. Just send them to ssctv3 at gmail.com. If you wish to have pictures or videos that are too large to attach to our email, bring them by the studio on a flash drive so that we can transfer them to our video editor. Weather, lunches, and birthdays will be discussed when we return. The weather for this part of the next week is uh, going to be really nice. The next counting today, we're going to have five really nice days in a row. And then we'll be back into February weather. So for Saturday, we're going to have partly cloudy, 60 the high, 43 the low. And on Sunday, partly cloudy again. 65 the high and 37 the low. And then Monday, sunny, 51 the high, 24 the low. And then Tuesday, a trend in the other direction, 43 the high, 26 the low, and a partly cloudy day. Then Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, cloudy on Wednesday, 34 the high, 14 the low. Uh, Thursday, we could have snow showers with uh, 26 the high and 13 the low. 
And Friday, partly cloudy, 29 the high and 16 the low. So the next five days, we're going to really enjoy that. Now we have our lunches for the week at the uh, senior dinner at the Sunflowers. And uh, these are as follows. On Monday, there will be oven fried chicken with sweet potatoes. On Tuesday, turkey and rice casserole. On Wednesday, spaghetti with meat sauce and buttered corn. On Thursday, herbed pork loin and au gratin potatoes. And on Friday, sweet and sour chicken with rice. <coughs> we have a good many uh, birthdays coming up this week. On uh, Friday, happy birthday to Joe Snyder and happy birthday to Greg Fisher. On Saturday, Happy birthday to Marley Slakey. On Monday, happy birthday to Luann Fisher and Dorothy Bliss. On Wednesday, happy birthday to Garland Mansell. And on Friday, three people. Happy birthday to Trey Nelson. And happy birthday to Connie Edwards. And happy anniversary to Jim and Marley Slakey. Our library is always busy, but for the last three days, it was extra busy because it was hosting its annual book fair. For three days this past week, the students of St. John had the opportunity to participate in an event that started more than 500 years ago. In 1454, soon after Gutenberg had developed printing with movable type, the first book fair was held by local booksellers in Mainz, Germany, near Frankfurt. Our fair included books for young and old in both fiction and nonfiction. From pirates to presidents and cats to cars, there were topics to please every taste. Hi, I'm going to have you take them up to the desk. Oh, they're running away a race course. Oh, yeah, that would be a good one. That's three. Now, what to you do with your books? Smear Lucas. Oh, Smear. I got some money to pay. I got to do the Now we have school announcements. The homecoming assembly is today at 2.55 p.m. in the main gym. The official crowning will be between the girls and boys game tonight. The royalty is as follows. Eddie Caleros and Kyle Burke, Chase Mansell and Riley Burbank, Paige Doran and Melissa Williamson. The crown bearers are Victor Cornwell and Addison McAllister. The homecoming dance will be Saturday, February 2nd, from 9 o'clock to 11.30 p.m. in the school cafeteria. The Booster Club Super Supper will also be this Friday, February the 1st. <coughs> Mrs. Benke and her art class donated work to the Stafford County Hospital. The Tiger Taught Story Time meets on the first and third Thursday of each month at 10.15 a.m. in the library. This is a story time for infants and toddlers up through three years of age and their parents. The sessions focus on the six essential early literacy skills to build a good foundation to become excellent readers. Come have fun and enjoy the stories, nursery rhymes, finger plays, songs, crafts, and free play and snacks. <clears throat> the SAFE 
which stands for seat belts are for everyone, those students and local officers are watching. If you're not buckled up, you could get a red ticket. The School Community Service Day will be Wednesday, April 24th. This is not a city function, but the city office will help you get signed up. Then the St. John Hudson PTO is now selling snack sticks from Yoda Meats. <clears throat> they are a dollar a stick or $24 for a box. They will be on sale at the PTO table at home games and between games by contacting Alyssa at the district elementary office or Cassie at the St. John National Bank of Kansas. The newly created Tiger license plate will also be available. The PTO Carnival, which is held every other year, will be this year on a Saturday, April the 27th. The monthly PTO meeting will be on Monday, February 4th at 5.30 p.m. in the community room of the library. Now we turn to special service announcements. Well, here we are with public service announcements. Uh, the Sunflower Senior Center on Monday, February 4th, has a senior soup supper at 6 p.m. Uh, you should bring a salad or a dessert to share. The St. John Hudson Recreation Commission uh, is Tuesday, February 9th. They're having lunch at the Olive Garden a pretty famous Italian restaurant in Hutchinson. They leave at 10.30. <clears throat> this year's flu vaccinations are now available at Stafford County Health Department. Also, the Ida Long Goodman Library is in search of the book On Wings of Faith by Lois English. It needs two or more copies. Lois English was a local author, and the book was written in 1956. <clears throat> the library also has Book Lovers Valentines. They include a set of genuinely used books and candy bars and a card. Friends of the Library has new cards available. They are $2.50 each or $5 for $10. Or, I'm sorry, $5 for $10. Stop at the front of the counter and take a look. <clears throat> the Hudson Community Council is planning its third annual Flower Festival, which is spelled F-L-O-U-R, not F-L-O-W-E-R. This will be a full day Saturday, March the 23rd. We will list the activities and the times as soon as we have them. The St. John Jubilee will be May 24th and 25th. Outdoor vendor spaces are being reserved now. Check with the city office for an application. Also, by going to Facebook on the Around the Square page, you can leave your email address and get more information and get an application. <clears throat> the RSVP which stands for Retired and Senior Volunteer Program, 
from Pratt will be in the library on Thursday, February 14th, providing tax-free preparation for those filing simple non-itemized returns with an income under $50,000. Appointment times are 30 minutes in length and may be reserved by calling the library <coughs> at 620-549-3227. The first session is at 9 a.m. and the last session is at 5 p.m. <coughs> Skating rink hours are Friday and Saturdays from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. If you need to rent skates, the admission is $2. If you have your own skates, the admission is a dollar and a half. <clears throat> the after-school skate will be on Tuesdays from 3.30 p.m. to 5 p.m. The admission for that time is $1. The free skates night for the USD 350 junior high students will be Saturday, February 2nd, from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. This event is sponsored by the St. John Hudson Recreation Commission. <clears throat> the Big Bend Ground Water Management District No. 5 will hold a public hearing Thursday, February 21, at the Stafford County Annex at 5 p.m. concerning the district's revised management plan. The annual meeting will follow at 7 p.m. This meeting will have an update on the latest LEMA proposal. At uh, TV3, we'll be recording this as well as televising these proceedings live on Cable Channel 3. <clears throat> the city is trying to complete a more accurate landlord list. There are a number of people looking for rentals. Please contact the city if you would like to be on the landlord list. Also, please contact the city if you currently have properties available. The City of St. John is accepting applications for the position of Public Utilities manage Maintenance Worker. This position will be under the supervision of the Public Utilities Supervisor and overseen by the City Superintendent. For a copy of the job description and or a job application, call the City of St. John during business hours at 630-594-3208 or visit www.stjohnkansas.com. The City of St. John is an equal opportunity employer. Until further notice, <clears throat> the trash dumpster south of the power plant will be unavailable. Please use the county dump east of town it is open from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Monday through Friday. Once upon a time, there was a dumpster here. The question is, why is it gone? The answer is complex, and our citizens need facts, not rumors and guesses. There are three ways to get the facts. Come to the next City Council meeting at 7 p.m. on Tuesday, February the 5th, or watch the meeting live on Cable Channel 3, or watch it at your convenience on YouTube. Being part of a community requires its citizens to be well informed so that they can properly discern among rights, responsibilities, privileges, and entitlements. Please help our channel better serve you with quality and informative programming. We have a lot of good stuff happening in our area, and our goal is to bring these activities to those who cannot attend. If you have items that are need to be announced on TV3, or you have an event that would benefit from video coverage, we would like to hear from you. Send us your items or video requests 
to ssctv3 at gmail.com. Give us a little lead time and we'll be there. <clears throat> also, since we have only one field reporter, our live news telecasts will be rescheduled from time to time when, when there's a conflict with a news or program event. If you would like to help us out as a field reporter, please come by and visit with David about the job requirements. Since this is a volunteer-run television station, there would be no pay, but the service to our community will be priceless. Keep us informed, and we will keep you informed, and thank you for watching.